you know the YouTube channel, the title was From Realtor to Investor. Mm -hmm. What would you want to say to a real estate agent that's out there selling real estate every day, running on the treadmill, and not investing? Um, what are we talking about? I would say... What's up guys? We had our first appointment here. We're at my longtime friend's house, past customer, one of my biggest advocates. She probably referred me the most buyer and seller in my career in 30 years. Anyway, recently she needed a referral for a roof and a, to redo her deck in the back. And they got it all done. We're here today to meet with the contractor, make sure everything's okay, and then uh, move on. But this is one of the things I love doing for my past customers, especially the one that really, you know, are my advocates, is to make sure I take care of them any way possible. All right, we just got done and the work, everything is great. Uh, my friends are happy. And so uh, now we are done. We are off to our next meeting. Let's go. All right, guys, we've been working all day in the office. We're gonna go check on one of our property that uh, we are rehabbing. These are some of the houses that I actually uh, buy and rent to uh, affordable families. We're gonna go interview uh, one of my student friends um, who have, I've been teaching how to flip property and invest in property in Seattle. So come along, let's go. Well, these townhouses, yeah, there's seven townhouses right here. Two, four, three up in front, there's seven. And these townhouses, uh, we have built a brand new and we use these houses to help affordable family in the Seattle area. So this is one of my projects where I do the philanthropist work where we rent them out to affordable housing to help them get a leg up. So one of the units, the tenant moves out and uh, the contractor are working on trying to get it ready so we can rent it to the next family. So we just stopped by to check on the progress so then we can go on to the next meeting. So let's go inside. Carpet, all oh, shot. I think these door jams, all oh, shot. Yep, this unit is not looking good. The walls are bad. I think uh, it is not a good sign. A lot of the doors are pretty much shot. These pretty much you gotta redo these. So there is plus renting your home and help affordable housing in Seattle, helping family get a leg up, make a difference. Because I know our family was there before when we came to Vietnam with no money and we need a place to live and we don't have a lot of money. And this is why one of the reasons why I'm motivated to do this kind of work. But you guys can see the downfall on renting to this demographic of renter is they beat the hell out of your unit. These are brand new unit, you guys. It was only built only about three, four years ago. You see this thing looked like a massive fixer upper right now. We try to balance as much as we can, you know, helping family and trying to keep our unit nice. But this right here, this damage, is probably gonna cost 20, 25,000 to redo, which is a lot of money to redo a unit. We're gonna have to continue to keep, keep the balance and trying to find you know, a good tenant that we're gonna help at the same time help a family out. That's uh, the name of the game of philanthropist work, guys. Woof. Here with my man Moose in the house. What up, bro? So uh, we've been knowing each other for like probably what? 12, 13 years. Now. 13 years. Yeah, when I first got started in real estate, you know, I uh, reached out to you and 
you know, you've been, uh, I'm fortunate that you've been helping me out, mentoring me, and been uh, good family friends ever since then. Awesome. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's take it back, Tom. Okay. So everybody know how you got started. When you were born in Seattle, where were you? And then of course, you know, you, you know, you didn't, you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth either. Oh, far from. So uh, I was um, born in Vietnam and I speak Cambodian and uh, came to the U.S. in 79 when I was a year old. Yep. And um, my parents, um, and my dad was here before, uh, we got, and he didn't sponsor us over. That's how cold it was. <laughs> <laughs> then my parents uh, got divorced, and then we moved up to North Seattle. Yep. And I was probably about six or seven when they got divorced. And my brothers and I, for the rest of, I guess I can remember, from elementary school all the way till after high school, we lived in a one bedroom apartment. Up north. Up north. Okay. And my mom slept in the bedroom, and my brothers and I always slept on the living room floor my whole life. Wow. <laughs> It's, it's crazy. That's crazy. So it was like a, I remember vividly, a 700 square foot, 710 square foot apartment. Wow. And I so, didn't know that, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I got done playing basketball one night, uh, playing against SCAA. Right. You know, and then I went to school, couldn't sit down, stood up, and then got sent to the principal's office. And then I had, they told me to go home, and went to the doctors, and then found out that I had a herniated disc. So then I had back surgery when I was a junior. After that, I gained a lot of weight and had a bunch of free time because I couldn't play sports anymore. Right. And that's when I got into when you have a lot of free time, you got into hustling. <laughs> it's been a, it's been an interesting but fun journey because yeah. today I can sit back and I can say I actually do have two federal felonies yeah. on my record. But if I didn't go through it, I wouldn't appreciate where I'm at today. That's right. I think the hardest part for me when I think about it, it took me a while to change my belief in myself. Yeah. I think the belief has increased more in the last couple years than ever. For sure. And that's why um, I can really just appreciate and enjoy what happened there. That's right. Let's fast forward. Okay. It's 2018 now. It's been yeah. 12 years since you've been in business, bro. Yeah. So did you come out of the shoot, became superstar success? Or, you know, roughly what would your business look like for the first three, four, five years? So which I did, I feel like I did good my first year. Um, probably like 20 deals or 23 deals or something. That's, That's pretty good for our first year. But then what happened was, as I'm starting learning about the market changing and then the short sales, and, and you know, I was always love, love learning and being coached and so forth. But my problem was I never took enough action. Right. You know, I go fast forward now. Um, so that was what, all the way to, you know, 18 now. Yeah. Fortunately, I got a team of four people. We have and, a team of four people today. Yeah. Right. And you know, I've got a, Pretty simple, yeah. enjoyable life. I got three little, I got three girls, 12, 10, and six. And yep. you know, Dana, you know, works full time for Amazon. And yep. in the last probably 12 months, that you know, you've been in my ear. I mean, I'm grateful that you've been in my ear. You know, good and bad because sometimes like that it takes. It, 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 everybody, it, 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 everybody learns a different time. That's right. That's right. That's for sure. That's right. So this year, I know that you're gonna make over 500 Gs. I make 500 on right. I'm just in selling real estate only. And just, just selling yeah. real estate only. Just okay. on my real estate. What's more exciting is what you and I talked about recently about owning rental property, um, creating passive income, and so forth. We're sitting in the house. That this is your first yeah investment property here. Yep. When did you buy this property? Uh, we bought this property on October 13th or 14th. Okay, October 13th, 14th. Yeah. And how yeah. much did we pick it up for? Uh, 400 grand. 400 grand. And then what did you put in the cost you to rehab this? It cost me about 150,000. So that's uh, 550. 550. Yeah. When they got when you got done with it, what did the bank appraise it at? It appraised at uh, 800. 800. So that's 250,000 with the equity. Instant. Instantly, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, and then with that, you were able to put it in a 30 year fix. Yep, I got it in a And fix now. basically pull all your equity out. I got all my money back. So you got no in. money in this property. Zero. Right now you rent upstairs. Yep. And then you keep the downstairs for your office. So I'm using the office, downstairs for my office. That's right. And um, I am in permits to build a garage with a studio That's right. top, That's right. so I can actually use the garage in my permanent office. And then, and then I can rent downstairs here, and then also rent an or Airbnb the studio on top of that. That's right. So then it will give me four streams of income. That's right. So because upstairs right now you make about almost four five hundred bucks a month. Yep. Passive income. So yeah, the combined because I in here in this area is about two dollars a square foot for yep. office space. Yep. And it's so 900 square feet down here, so I actually just pay myself fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So you're technically you get 
Full 500 bucks upstairs, yep. and you can get another 1500 bucks here. Yeah, so I get like 2000 2250 upstairs, right. and then 15 down here right now. That's right. But if I were to rent it to a normal person, that's right. I'd probably get 16 17 So basically, in a nutshell, what you got right now, you can you are easily getting over $3,000 a month in passive income. $3,500. No $3,500, no problem. Eyes closed. So right now, you got over 250000 equity in this property. Yep. Creating over three thousand dollars in passive income on this property. It's one property. It's one property with no money in. Yeah. When you um, first started thinking about is this possible? After I've been sharing with you, buy yeah. property, keep it passive income, right? Did you think it was possible? I know you had a little bit of fear. Oh, uh, it was scary, bro. I didn't know how possible it was until I really got into it and I started looking at the numbers. And you've been hearing me saying it over and over. Buy up. Buy right now, buy right create passive income, right? Yeah. But yeah. doing it all model. The and, Burr system. And this Burr system is so freaking cool. Yeah. If you figure out and if you can pay attention and know, you gotta know your stuff. Yeah, know your stuff. And, and, um, and you gotta be patient about it too. Yeah. So yeah, and this is a pretty damn cool model. Yeah. What, was, what made you nervous when your first project? Not knowing what to do because the construction. I don't know about. I don't know anything about really remodeling and the process. And I mean, literally, I didn't even interview contractors. I just used a contractor who helped me with all my clients' house, right. thinking that he would give me a good deal. Right. Man, I got smoked. Right. Didn't pay a little more than you should. Way more and got a lot less. That's right. But after this, don't add something to actually use the your learning. That's right. Like anything else, is the journey, That's and right. so I learned a lot. But you know what though? At the end of the day, I can't complain because I'm still zero into the process. That's right. That's right. <laughs> At the end of the day, you yeah. still got it for free. Yeah. Not nine even a year yet. Nine so in nine months, you started this nine months ago, and you got three property. Yeah. This one is done. The second one is pretty much done. The third, third one, one is done. Third I'm, one I'm done. Looking for a renter right now. Okay, there it is. So and I made ninety grand on equity in nine months. Basically, you got three property. Yeah. All done this bird system. All in the bird. Is the bird system crazy, bro? Uh, beyond crazy. So when I tell people this, Bruce, I can teach people how to buy 15 property with a hundred thousand dollar in five years. No problem. Hundred grand, take four months to do a house. No problem. You can do three a year yeah. with the same one hundred thousand over and over. over. Is that possible? Very, very possible. Yeah. But you got to know your stuff. But you got, you got, you got to know your stuff, yeah. and and you got to be patient. How much passive income are you shooting for first? As your, you know. For now, right? Your, what is your number that you shoot for? As soon as you get there, right? Then you're out of the rat race, and then you you take it off and do some more. What's well, the number? I, for you? I don't I don't need the so my number is twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. I've always wanted twenty five rentals at a thousand a piece. Right. And then twenty years from now, you have something to show for it. Yeah. And you have a lifestyle of freedom, of choice, and work when you want to work when you want to work at your own time, at your own discretion. I'm, I'm looking for the mailbox money, yeah. as we would say. Yeah. Yeah. This mailbox money. You know the YouTube channel, the title is From Realtor to Investor. Mm -hmm. What would you want to say to a real estate agent that's out there selling real estate every day, running on the treadmill, and not investing? Um, what are we talking about? I would say, you know, shift your thinking to really focusing on you have the first option, work on your skills and yeah. think how much money do you really want how much mailbox money do you really want yeah because a lot of realtors are working for the fame and the glory and yeah. the ego yeah. um instead of you know the flexibility and freedom right. of doing what the heck you want whenever you want right. and uh, i think you know just taking some time to get clear but i would say invest and and hold for the long term and not the short game that's it right there baby yeah congratulations Bruce, man i appreciate it bam